Oh. <laughs> Albert, Robert, my dear friend Robert. Wow, your dream is materializing just like the dream of the Jewish people coming back home. Albert, you said that this year we have 101 countries. In the Talmud, it teaches us that what is the difference between somebody who worships God and somebody who doesn't worship God? This is what the Talmud says. If you review your studies a hundred times, you don't worship God. If you do it 101 times, you do. What's the difference? What is the difference between 100 and 101? So our scholars explained to us, if it's 100, it means you have a formal study. This is your, your plan, this is your schedule, this is what you're gonna do. If you do 101, you are spontaneous. You are worshiping God, not because you have to, and this is your mission, this is your assignment, but because the love is coming from inside. The love is pouring out from inside. So, the love to Jerusalem, and I see here the representative, the most, one most wonderful, smart, inspiring, and beautiful leader of Jerusalem, Flair. And, and by the way, Albert, I just want to remind you, I'm here today representing, not Knesset, you have every, I'm here representing the pastors, and I'm here instead of Michelle Bachman. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, my dear friend, the Wallers, and Jorgen, and Becky, and representatives from Guatemala, and of course, the host, who's a priest himself, Kahana. I'm telling you, I come here always to have my spiritual batteries recharged. Because when I come here, it's like turning on the light when God said, we just read in the Torah a week and a half ago, and there shall be light. You know why God be began the creation? By, by light. It's the only thing, by the way, that God says, and he, God saw the light, it was good. Why did he begin with light? And the answer is because everything else God had to bless that it should produce. He blessed the fruits, the trees, that they should produce more trees. The fish, the birds, should produce more fish and birds. Man, light, you don't have to bless it to produce more light. The very existence of light brings more and more and more light. This wonderful, wonderful initiative of prayer to Hashem that the light of the city, which is the light of the universe, from people who have faith in their heart, from peace, people who are motivated with faith because they're connected to Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem is not only a city that flourishes with buildings and houses, it's a spiritual lighting that anybody who comes here is lit on. So at this moment, where people from 101 countries are praying and joining the Shalom Jerusalem, the Jerusalem prayer breakfast, the idea of praying not just for Jerusalem so that we should Jerusalem should see, but that Jerusalem should continue being a light upon the universe. This is the wonderful thing that's happening. And from here, I want to bless the blessing that Matan Kahana should be blessing. Ya'er Hashem panav elechem. God should illuminate His light upon you. That the light from Jerusalem, the light of God, that continues and sparkles inside of you. And as Jorgen mentioned, we're going through times of light. And we're going through times of light, of peace, of shalom. That this peace and that this new era in the region, era I think comes from the root of or, from light also. For this era, we should see the beauty of shalom and light upon all of those in 101 countries. Shalom from Jerusalem. <laughs>